Anthony and I are trying to create as much electricity as we can using just human power. But so far it hasn't been going so well. It all comes down to how fast we can spin the generator. Maybe we could use like some gears or something like that. In order to get it spinning really fast, we're gonna use a bike. It's just a matter of getting a bike, taking off the wheel, putting it on a stand. It is now a stationary bike. It'll be even more stationary once we screw it down. And attaching the generator. All right, the bike generator. bike rater what's, what should we call this thing? Uh, Bike-nomator. Bike-nomator, mm -hmm. I like it. So, okay, let's go over what we've got here. Okay, so we've got uh, two gears. We've got a big one, we've got a small one. We turn our pedals and the, the big gear turns the small one. So this, this is the whole point of this build is so that we can get one revolution here means a whole bunch is spinning Exactly. There. The right, more right. we get here, the more our generator spins and the more electricity we get. We get tons. Awesome. And uh, obviously using bike because you're using your legs. Uh-huh. The strongest muscles in your body. Awesome. Uh-huh. Okay, so now what's with this horn? <laughs> That is a loud horn. I know, I know, I tried to warn you. That is great, I love that. So Anthony and I hop on and give it a pedal. We pedal as hard as we can and we produce a pretty good amount of electricity. How much electricity did they produce? We got up to maybe like 18 there. We did a pretty good job. That's enough for a power tool, like a drill. It's, it's good, you know what? This, this works well, I think, for keeping a good number for a long period of time. Yeah. So we can get up to yeah. like 18, 20, mm -hmm. but it doesn't, we can't really get any higher than that. Yeah, you know what we need is like one really hard pull like all of a sudden. That way you can get like a spike. Yeah, you're right. So it's like instead of putting all that effort into a going for a long time, yeah. you put all the effort into one quick motion. Exactly. Yeah, good idea. So you wrap a rope around here and then you just pull it. Exactly, exactly. And that'd be a really fast motion. Uh-huh. Spin it really quick and get a very high number. High spike, exactly. Okay. Uh, you know, we, we're gonna have to take the bike apart though. Uh. Okay, well, right. well it's yeah. science. Okay, cool. So I'll just get Oh, you know what? We actually don't have to take the whole bike apart. We just have to take the generator off. Oh, right. Okay, okay hang cool. on a sec. I got it. And maybe we should attach the horn to the next thing, too. I've got some yellow cornstarch and some blue cornstarch. This experiment works the best with low notes. I'm playing a tone through the stereo that is very low. Here's what happens when I turn up the volume. It, it turns solid. So the vibrations from the speaker cone are making the cornstarch mud impact, and that's turning it into a solid. But then it sort of also melts back into a liquid, so you get little columns of cornstarch coming up and falling down again. It's like it's dancing. Whoa! Visual sound waves. Science! Science! So Michaela and I are going to max out sound. To do that, we need a maxed out sound system. <laughs> this is gonna be amazing. This so is gonna cool. be super maxed out sound experiment. I'm this is so James, fun. Michaela. Hey, James, James. Nice how are you? you? Thanks for coming, buddy. Nice to meet you. So, tell us about your speaker system. It looks a lot like a vehicle. <laughs> This is my audio van. It's got four 15-inch subwoofers in the back. It's got a whole bunch of power to power it, and I'm glad to be here to let you guys hear it today. Wow. Awesome. So if I have a speaker at home, the, like a little speaker like this, how many watts do you think that would be? Somewhere between 15 and 25. 15 and 25 watts. Yes. And you've got 4,000. Yes. So that's a lot more. Yeah, quite a bit. And subwoofers, they play low notes. Yes. So is that better when you have a van like this? With a car audio van like this, you want to play low notes, like your house stereos, and that will play anything from 120 to 200 hertz. I'm playing 20 hertz to about 35 max for you guys today. So that's like a yeah. sort of rumble of thunder. Yes, very kind low. Of blah, 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 yeah. Where you really feel it. Yes. Like a train going past almost. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So we get our hearing protection on and we try it out. I know what you're thinking. Phil, what's the point of having loud music if you can't really hear it? Because we've gone from listening to music to feeling it. <laughs> the 
The sound waves are so strong that they have become a physical presence. Michaela's hair flies around because the air from the speakers is creating shock waves. The sound waves are so powerful, they move the air back and forth, which makes Michaela's hair dance all over the place. And my hair, not so much. Jealous of your long hair? Yeah, you need to get longer hair. Okay, hold on. I'll go right Okay. Whoa! Science back! Experiments at large! Super, Super sound! sound! High fives! Yeah, okay, ready to go again? So cool. Yeah, let's do it! Okay, here we go! So Anne and I have made a large shaker table. Now it's just a matter of designing a building. We use lumber and cut it up, use screws to attach it all together, put a platform on top for a weight, and attach it securely to our shaker table. The building is super simple. Just four corners and a few planks around the outside. No structure in the middle. And finally, the big heavy weight on the top. There. We attach a pole to the shaker table so we can shake from a safe distance and try it out. Okay, very slow. Forward. Let's see how much shaking it can stand with our shakeometer. Okay. Uh, that seems to be okay. Just kidding. Oh, oh no. Whoa! We barely start to shake our tower before it collapses. Oh, that didn't really last very long, did it? It completely folded up on itself. Uh, what do we do to fix this, make it better? I think the easiest thing we can do is to use thicker wood. It'll make it less wobbly. Okay, sure, let's make another one. Bye, okay. fives. We do have lots of wood, that's a good thing. Anne and I are trying small improvements every time. There. Our last building used thinner pieces of wood. Now we're using thicker wood, which we think will help keep the weight at the top from collapsing the building. Everything else about the design of our building is the same. We put the weight on top and fix our pole and we're good to go. All right, you ready? Problem. Okay. Starting to creak. But it recovers. You can yeah. see it lean and then it comes back and it, re and it resets. Definitely doing better than the last one. Oh no. I'm impressed. Oh, 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 here we go. Oh. <laughs> it definitely did better than the first one. It did better than the first one. And the thicker wood definitely helped. But it was really starting to turn. I think on the next one, we need some platforms in the center to help strengthen it even more. Earthquake Building 3.0. Thicker wood this time, but with platforms in the middle. So we're gonna see how well this version works with these middle parts that'll hopefully reinforce. And they're just like the floors of a building. Okay, well let's find out if it's gonna make any difference. Starting to wobble a little, but it looks pretty good. As soon as we start shaking, it's really obvious this building is more solid. Uh-oh, starting to creak. Oh, it's really starting to creak. The platforms in the middle really seem to improve the structure. You can see it bend all the way over and still recover. But still, it wasn't long before... Really starting to lean. <laughs> wow, the extra pieces really kind of made it more impressive. It definitely lasted a lot longer than the other two. It did, but here's what I'm wondering. Are we going in the wrong direction? What do you mean? Well, because if it's really solid, it resists the change. Okay, I see where you're going with this. So if we make it flexible, it can resist the shaking of an earthquake. I think it's worth a shot. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Chris and I are maxing out the Vibrobot, but our last version shook itself apart. Now the plan is to start with something more solid and try again. We found some very solid steps and added an even bigger motor, an even bigger battery, and attached a half circle wheel to make the vibrations when the motor spins. We add some paintbrushes and fire it up. Here we go. Come on. Go, Vibrobot. Hmm. It wants to move. Is it moving at all? Hmm. 
Hmm. So it's still not working. It's already getting caught in the paper and it's on the paintbrushes. And the, yeah, the paintbrushes seem to be absorbing too much vibration and then the paper's stopping as well. So why don't we remove the paintbrushes? Yeah. And we might as well remove the paper if we don't have any more paintbrushes. Yes. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay. No paintbrushes, no paper. Okay. Now let's try it. Three, two, one, go! Yeah! Aha! It's moving. Not bad. The shaking is good, but I don't know if the shaking is enough. So what do we do? Well, we could add another battery. Another battery, which would give it more power? That's right. OK, let's try that. OK. OK, so it wasn't working before. No. Not enough power. And now we've got a second battery here. That's right. We've wired them up so that one power feeds into the other, so we've got twice as much juice as we do. So it's just a matter of clipping this onto there. That's right. But hold on. Yeah, safety glasses, because now we don't know what's going to happen <laughs> anymore. Ready? Three, two, one. The extra battery makes a big difference. The new VibraBot shakes around and only shakes itself apart a little. All right, Whoa. that was amazing. <laughs> okay, so all we needed was more power. That's right, I think it didn't have enough power to, to vibrate up and down and that's why it wasn't moving every time it hit the ground. So I think if we're gonna use this much power, I think we need to build it again. Okay. Build it even stronger and with a bigger motor. Yeah. And more power. And then maybe I ride it. You think we can build that? Of course. Of course. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> 